10th ranked West Virginia basketball will continue its Texas road trip tonight at TCU. However, it just became a Texas two step instead of a three step. The Big 12 has canceled Thursday's Mountaineer game at number two Baylor. The conference did so to avoid having West Virginia play three games in back to back weeks. Three final home games, though, have been added to the slate. WVU will host its previously scheduled contest against Kansas State on Saturday and then welcome in the Bears next Tuesday at five. TCU will come to Morgantown next Thursday, March 4th, and the regular season will wrap with Oklahoma State on Saturday the 6th. Time slots for the Horn Frog and Cowboy games will be announced at a later time. And speaking of the Horn Frogs, they are the Mountaineers focus tonight. 11 and 9 TCU comes in having lost two games in a row, scoring less than 60 points in each against Kansas State and Texas. They sit eighth in the conference, averaging just over 68 per game. One player, though, that has scored with ease for them is RJ Nemhard. The junior guard ranks fourth in the Big 12 with close to 17 points a game. The Mountaineers will have to contain him in the open court tonight. I think, I think the thing that uh we've got to be prepared for is how hard he runs the floor. He really runs the floor, which um, kind of stretches everything out, gives gives the other guys a little more space to penetrate and kick, and they're, they're, they're big penetrate and kick guys. Staying on the hardwood, there is a confirmed positive COVID case within the Morgantown girls basketball program. The Mohegans began practice just last week. They will now be sidelined until March the 9th, effectively canceling their first four games of the 2021 season. Morgantown is slated to compete in quad A this year. To the pool, University Swimming is back to work at the Milan Aquatic Center, already facing some adversity in the water. The Hawks have just 18 swimmers combined and just five on the boys' side. A lower turnout than usual due to winter and spring sports overlapping. Head coach Joanna White is relying on four seniors to lead UHS towards success and improvement. Ultimately, I want each of them to see success. So, and not like success on the scoreboard, but success in the, okay, here's my time. I want to get better. And honestly, I think the way they're all working, I think that's going to be very doable this year. This year means a lot to me because I'm a senior and it's great to make these memories. Um, my goals are to make it to States. And if I don't, I'll help to bring my teammates there. This week on the Five Sports Podcast, we welcome in former Elkins head football coach Evan Hott. Hott resigned in December after just four seasons at the helm of his alma mater. He led the Tigers to their first playoff win ever this past season at Sissonville. Here's Hott on why he made this difficult decision. Well, I mean, it's a, a bunch of different reasons. Um, I mean, there, there's a lot of uncertainty within the program, and um, it was just – I really felt that it was it was time to go because um, just a lot of things surrounding it. Back into coaching at another destination. What's he doing with his free time? Well, we have all those answers and more on episode seven of the Five Sports Podcast. It'll be available on Apple, Spotify, and in video form on our website tomorrow afternoon. Staying on the gridiron, the Mountaineers spring game has been set for April 24th at 1 p.m. The annual Golden Blue scrimmage was not played last year due to COVID-19. Ticket info will be released at a later time. Definitely looking forward to seeing the Mountaineers back on the gridiron. That'll do it in sports. Anna, back to you.